right, well, what else can you say about the career resurgence of Charles Dubronx Oliveira? Cut his teeth in the UFC late 2017. He had lost three of four. Nobody was talking about him. And then he goes on to produce one of the greatest winning streaks in UFC lightweight history. Well, he did a great job uh, just rebuilding, refocusing, shifting the mindset from having issues at times when it got tough to getting through the tough and dominating guys. Many relied on him going back to that guy from the court. That guy disappeared on that championship run. Charles Oliveira is a beast. And we will see if tonight he gets his hand raised and he proves once again why he's one of the best lightweights in the world. Don't look for too much in terms of risk management, though. Even given what happened in the Islam Akashev fight, Charles Oliveira is an aggressive, high-octane offensive fighter. And that is the expectation as to what we will see here tonight. the Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending you. Champion of the world, Sugar Sean The veteran Herbert Dino referee for this one. Ready. Good. Well, Sean O'Malley has been a notorious. Oh, 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 the dome piece. Straight right hand now just misses. Oliveira gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Well, didn't take him long to get this fight to the ground. Great job securing the takedown early. He's trying to impose his will on his opponent. All right, so there's the early... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, looks like he's got the submission right there. He's in real trouble. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh. Beautiful transition. Big ground and pound. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Great shot from the top position. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. 
Oliveira going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. He's up. What's the mission defense on this play? O'Malley's pass attempt denied. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job. Just making it. Now he's a tip and choke. That Darce is tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. But, oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. Good work from the top here by Oliveira. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. O'Malley getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. 10 seconds to go in the round. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, oh he's getting close to the finish now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you Great want fight. to do is Good. let your offense go, but Good. every time you're getting dragged to the floor and constantly you're starting to get fatigued, you're starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Nice job striking here by Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Outstanding UFC resume, and the striking is really starting to catch up with the grappling. Scary proposition, really, for any man in multiple divisions. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by O'Malley. What a nasty fly knee. Immediately gets the under. And now some separation. He's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Sean O'Malley. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Slips the punch. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Oliveira. Just over two minutes to go. Relentless pressure from the top by Oliveira. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke his locked in. And attack an armbar. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Final seconds here. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, man. Settle down. Listen, you are taking way too much damage to the body, man. All right? Remember how we trained for this. All right? We're not protecting the body. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do Here it. we go, third round of this championship fight. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, straight to the body by Sean O'Malley. Big right. In real trouble now. He was able to get his hands up to block that one. A oh, little single collar tie there. Beautiful kick lands there. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Unable to connect. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Takedown defense holds up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to win. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point. He got hurt again. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Fifteen seconds to go. Look at how he drives his knees right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, That's oh. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? 
You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice, low single takedown. All right, hammer fist here by Oliveira. Ooh, going for a leg lock. That is tight. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. O'Malley's in half court. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, that has got to be it. That's tight. Oh, he got out. He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards the opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and he just gets up. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really start to wear at the gas tank. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Mm, that was nice. <laughs> Oliveira's right back to the full mount here. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliveira. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack Driver. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready, from the top position. Ready. Fifth and final round. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. That leg kick lands. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Oh, nice kick. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to really hurt him. Both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Well, he put so much stock into this fight. And now oh, nice double leg, yes. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Olivera's going for the sub here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. That is it! So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx. All right, so another win by submission for the UFC's submission king, Charles Dubronx Oliver. Nobody's ever done it better. No one has done it better than Dubronx on the ground. When you're on the ground with Charles...